Hi, welcome to Birth and Beginnings. I am Tammy C and I welcome you to our home for our childbirth preparation course. Before I begin, I wanted to give you a short background of how I got into birth work in the first place. This picture is a picture of, this is our first family picture back in 2006. I gave birth to my eldest daughter, Baya Lamaz, or natural spontaneous delivery, or we call it sometimes as unmedicated birth. Back then, in 2006, there was not that many childbirth courses available. There was not, um, there was no Facebook back then, so there was not that much online support either. I just knew that I wanted to, to give birth in the most natural way because I did not want to birth out of fear. I wanted to give birth with confidence. I wanted it to be a satisfying and calm experience for me, my partner, and my child. So here I was, 2006. As you can see, that's, that's the best folk I can find if we were not so high-tech back then. This was also in the birthing suite in one of our hospitals here in St. Luke's, Kansas City. Two years after I gave birth to our second daughter, Mika. Um, this was the longest labor for me, counting from 4 cm. Oh no, counting from 6 cm. So that's, re that's really active labor, considered active labor already. It took me another 24 hours before she came out, of, she came out into the world. I think she loved being inside my room too much. But to encourage you, even if it's 24 hours, I still managed to give birth with, a, with no medications. But because it took me long to give birth to her, it took another five years or four years before I gave birth to our third child, Isaiah. With Isaiah, he was the only labor that I had with the, the breaking of my bag of water, or what we, those things that we see in movies. Um, as the onset, as the first sign of my labor. And we'll be talking more about signs of labor later on. Okay? And then, I finally gave birth to our youngest back in 2015. Um, I would consider Liam's birth to be the shortest birth. So with all my births, I had a positive experience. And I, since I gave birth to my eldest daughter, I've been wanting to help moms. So what I do, I would gather moms, just like you, and gather dads and we have what we call pregnancy party and I would just be handing them some of my checklists and answering some of their questions. I remember times when I would research on their behalf if they had a question that I didn't know about and so all this to say in short ever since I gave birth to our first child I have been wanting to, to support other parents when it comes to birth, when it comes to breastfeeding, when it comes to, to parenting in general. Not that at that time I didn't really know much but I was willing to learn so that I can share whatever it, it was that I learned. And it is still the same today. I still love learning about childbirth and breastfeeding and parenting because I still love sharing what I know so I can support other parents like you. So back in 2017, I finally made this, um, this desire legit. I took up training. This was my first training in Hawaii. Um, I became a childbirth educator certified childbirth educator, and also took up uh, doula training with Donna International. Doing birth work, I realized that a lot of parents need support after birth, in breastfeeding, in postpartum adjustments, and so I took up trainings as well. This was my training in Illinois to be a certified lactation specialist. In 2018, I went to Singapore to get trained with spinning babies and as a postpartum doula. And this photo, I love this photo because this was the training that I had with Lamaz. Now, this has a special place in my heart because 14 years ago, or rather 15 years ago when I was pregnant with Aliana, I read a book about called The Official Lamaz Guy, and that was what made me decide to try to give birth naturally, or as natural as possible with least amount of medical interventions. And Reading that book, it convinced me that I am made and I am designed to give birth. It gave me the confidence to give birth. And when I signed up for this class, little did I know that I was signing up under the program of that author that, of that book that I read. So this was this training. I also took up training with Postpartum International. This, is, this was my training um, on perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. So we do have support. There is support, even not just through not just in the season of childbirth, but even after birth. We want to support you. Now, what can we expect from this class? I hope to be able to, uh, that we will come 
or we will come out of this class with our mindsets adjusted and our attitudes about birth adjusted. I know that most of you, if I ask you, you might have some idea about childbirth already, perhaps from your aunts or your grandparents or your grand aunts, from your titas, from your mom, from your friends, or from social media, or from the movies about how childbirth is supposed to go or how childbirth looks like. So we want to adjust those mindsets. We want those mindsets and attitudes about, about birth to be positive and, and um, faith building, confidence building. We also want to build a support system for you. I hope that even after this class, we stay in touch so we can support you as you parent your child. Third, we hope to give you updated evidence-based information that can help you comprehend birth better so that you can make more informed decisions. We don't want you to make decisions out of fear, but we hope to help you make decisions out of um, information and, and coming from a confidence. It's coming from, from evidence-based information and not out of fear. For this class, we will be talking about pregnancy. So most of the things about pregnancy you really discuss with your OBs or your midwives, right? So we'll be talking about pregnancy nutrition, pregnancy um, prenatal conditioning and positioning. We will be talking about signs of labor. We'll be talking about labor itself, coping with labor, stages of labor, what can we expect in a hospital setting because most of you will be giving birth in hospital setting. Um, if you do want to know more about um, what to expect in a home birth setting, that will be a separate, we can have a separate session for that. Okay, but we'll be talking mostly about common hospital and medical interventions and procedures. And then we'll be talking about decision making and planning for your birth. As a bonus, we will also be discussing some immediate, like what do you, what can we expect immediately after birth and some breastfeeding basics. I want you to consider us as part of your birth team. So in return, I also hope that you'll be participating in this class. Even if you're there sitting at the comfort of your own home or wherever you are right now, I hope that when we do demonstrations or exercises, then you participate and try it out as well. Secondly, after the class, we hope that you will continue your practice at home. It will be good to get enough practice so, so that during Labor Day itself, it will, be, it will come as second nature already to you. The premise of the exercises that we will be presenting would be for low-risk pregnancies. Low-risk meaning you have the clearance from your OBs, you are free to move around, there are no complications, there are no known complications. I would be explaining which exercises you can do right off the bat, and I would also be pointing out some exercises that you might have to ask your care provider if it's a go for you, or if you're clear to do it. Finally, we hope to partner with you and your care providers. So whatever information, you get from this, we also want you to continue to trust your care providers. We want you to, to defer to them first. Let me just share a little bit about our birth philosophy. What do we believe about birth? How do we see birth? I believe that birthing is a gift. And I know that you know, you see your babies as gifts already, right? But I remember a mom who said, how oh, I wish when I, I just have to close my eyes and then when I wake up, the baby's there. And don't we just, I'm sure some of you may be nodding your heads with this, right? But I do believe that the labor process itself is a gift. And when you're handed a gift, how do you react? You respond with excitement, and with anticipation, right? We don't, we don't really dread it as if, oh, what is this? Is this a mom that you're handing me? So the labor process in itself is a gift, and we want you to embrace that. I would actually like us to consider using the term giving birth as opposed to just a delivery. Giving birth makes us feel like this is something that we are it changes our mindset. It's not just a medical procedure. It's not a medical emergency. It is a process that our bodies are going through in order to get our babies from the womb out into the world. Secondly, I want us to see that as we are birthing our babies, this is just really the beginning of a whole new journey as parents. That's why I said earlier, I wanted you to, to see this as an opportunity to build a support system. We want to support you even after birth. We believe that birthing involves your whole being, not just your body, but your mind, your emotions, your heart, your spirit. And so it takes not just physical preparation, it takes a lot of mental work, a lot of mental and emotional preparation as well. That's why if there are fears, if there are anxieties, we suggest that you lay it out, bring it out, lay it down at the onset, and have an open mind. And I hope that by the end of this class, you'll be more confident that there will be less anxiety, less fear, because I have seen this 
a lot of times, more than the physical, a lot of the, a big part of labor is really how we see it, emotion, how we approach it emotionally and psychologically. Next, birthing is normal, natural, and healthy. I believe with all my heart that your your bodies are designed for birth. You are meant to do this, moms. Dads, your the, your partners are well designed, and they are created to give birth. They they made they're designed to give birth. So, moms, I want you to now begin to learn to trust your body and work with your body. Pregnancy is natural. This is something that my OB told me when I was pregnant with my first baby, and I had a lot of fears. Can I do this? Um, will this happen? Oh no, I did this. What, what's going to happen to my baby? And she just calmly told me, pregnancy is not a disease. And I'm telling the same I'm telling the same thing to you. Pregnancy is not a disease. It is actually a sign that your body is healthy enough to to nurture life inside you. I also believe that childbirth education, this class that you're taking now, the information that you're trying to gather, the support that you're trying to, to receive, it empowers you to make informed decisions about your birth and your parenting, and it enables you and empowers you to trust your innate ability to give birth and to take care of your child. Okay, finally, I also believe that childbirth is best experienced through a partnership, a strong partnership with your birth team. By, by your birth team, I mean it could include your husband, it could include a birth partner of your choice, it could include any other family member that you trust to be with you, or it could be your the hospital staff itself. Ultimately, I believe that children are a reward and birth is a gift. Before we begin, I want to share this verse from Psalm 127, verse 3. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. Okay, so let's move on to our first session, which is preparing for labor.